so we are now into the first full day of Biden's presidency. Let's be clear about the fact that the congressional vote of the 6th of January legitimizes everything that came before it. Congress has been given that power to have the absolute final say on who gets to be the president. I think they've made the wrong decision. I think time will show very soon that they've made the wrong decision. But anyway, um, Biden is now the Democratic president of a Democratic Congress. So it's absolutely reasonable to expect that all of the problems of the United States are now going to immediately come to an end. This is what was promised by Biden. Um, Trump is gone. Trump is not in denial about going, despite all the painfully unfunny memes and gifts that are still kind of half-heartedly circulating. We're still in a state of smug euphoria from the mainstream media, particularly the cringe Irish mainstream media. Sycophants trying to toady up to Biden. <clears throat> They'll see how that turns out very, very soon. That's not going to last forever. And then we're actually going to have to face the reality of a Biden presidency. Biden has said he's going to sort everything out and everything's going to be rainbows and unicorns rainbows and unicorns and chocolate fountains so uh what we're going to expect immediately is that all the riots across the united states they've come to an end now i assume um all of the problems with um those other problems joblessness poverty lack of health care for people that's all now come to an end as well uh, recently, Bernie Sanders, who is a worse cook than anyone on the left, Sanders said, you know, if you vote for Biden, then we'll be able to push him left. We'll be able to, to pressurise him. And as the excellent Jimmy Dore show says, and I've linked it below here, as soon as Bernie gets to be, I don't know what the position is actually titled, a controller of the budget, Think it's this nominal position they've given him because the budget's way out of control look at how indebted the united states is it was one of the central planks of trump in 2016 but anyway uh sanders had said he'd push he would be part of the group that would be at the vanguard of pushing biden to the left he has now said that uh he was very much in favor of universal health care from all and it's going to be in the context of what biden wants the Jimmy Dore show is the only, in my opinion, significant outlet that has picked up on the real meaning of that. In other words, Bernie is saying, once again, I've broken my promise. Don't forget that in 2016, he was the left candidate. But in the heat of the hunt, he then called on people to vote for Clinton. And now he was the left candidate again. And um, who is now saying that he's calling on people to accept the decisions of Biden. Biden is a neoliberal globalist puppet of the military industrial complex. Biden is not a lefty. Trump was more of a lefty, even by those criteria, than Biden. The Jimmy Dore show, I'll put up a second link to this, is now saying that the far left and what they, I think, erroneously termed the far right, are now coming together to oppose Biden. Good. Because that's the start of the Patriot Movement. Because when you look at the US Patriot Movement, so much of what could be called conventional far left is actually adopted by Trump's serious supporters. In other words, the United States is economically in serious trouble. The riots are causing terrible problems. Trump is not a racist and we need to have health care. You know, if Trump, in his very, very dignified valedictory speech, is correct, He's already been instrumental in reducing the cost of medication because medication in the United States is a scandal. The price of medicine is a scandal in the United States, even compared just up the road to Canada. So many American citizens who live near the border with Canada were going up there to get their medication. You know, the cost of medicine alone is crucifying people. That's not even for people who have deficient health insurance or less than optimal health insurance having to go to hospital. We're talking about actually buying the medication. Trump, according to himself, has reduced the cost of it for people. So it's going to be rainbows and unicorns under Biden. Absolute rainbows and unicorns. 
I've said this before, I had a video last week, Orange Man Bad, you know, that's addressing the fact that now Trump has actually gone, or Orange Man Gone was my video, sorry. Sorry, I was still stuck in the mindset there. It's Orange Man Gone. Trump is gone. Sorry, folks, he's gone. Everybody's still talking about him because that's he's such an, a strong presence and such an alpha. They'll be talking about him for the next four years, particularly when, as I predict, the vacuum of Biden's presidency becomes apparent to everybody. Um, but there's no excuses because not only whether Biden is a rubbish president or not, or whatever about Kamala Harris, whether that's the case or not, the reality is that there's a Democratic Congress now. Personally, I think Biden should have conceded at the 11th hour because if Trump had got the presidency, he'd have to deal with the Democratic Congress. So they could obstruct everything Trump wanted and blame it on him. They can blame nobody now except the Democrats. One of the things that Jimmy Dore says, and I'm a patron of the Jimmy Dore show, we don't agree on everything. He was an anti-Trumper, but we agree on a lot. Also, I find him, as an internet journalist, I find him to be very thorough. He's a lot more thorough than a lot of internet journalists. His style is comedic and it's light and he's easy to follow, but he's also dead fair. Okay, he's not a supporter of Trump. Okay, he was on that Young Turks video. He hasn't been allowed to lift that one down. But the reality is that he is fair and he's objective. He's damn sight more than RTE or the Irish Times, you know? And then he wonders in many of his videos, you know, he says, why are so many people getting their news off the internet? There you go. The standard of the Jimmy Dore show, journalistically, and object in terms of objectivity, and in terms of its thoroughness, and in terms of its fairness, is far higher than any of the rubbish on RTE and the Irish Times. He's dead fair, Jimmy Dore is, and he runs an open show. That's why I'm happy to be a patron of his. I'm very glad to be a patron of his, even here from Ireland. Um, so, rainbows and unicorns are now imminent from team Biden. I'd give it a no, re no to be more realistic the rainbows and unicorns it's now Thursday we should expect the rainbows and unicorns to be fully in situ by Monday morning here Irish time American time and the east coast is six hours later than us and the west coast I think it's about 12 hours later than we are yeah it would be about 12 hours later on the way or valet or that but it's okay we'll get we're leaving in in place and considering the 12 hour time lapse between say California and Ireland we will expect rainbows and unicorns to be absolutely unassailably in place by midnight of Monday coming. Today being Thursday the 21st, Friday 22nd, Saturday 23rd, Sunday 24th, Monday 25th. So on the midnight transition in Ireland between Monday the 25th and Tuesday the 26th of January 2021, Irish time, which is the same as British time, uh, rainbows and unicorns will be fully in place and everything will be perfect in the United States. The alternative is that, first of all, uh, it's probable that Biden actually didn't really get the votes necessary to win the election and there may have been uh, a little bit of hooky. The fact that Trump could not prove that in state or federal court does not mean it didn't happen. It meant that it was non-justiciable, which is a different thing. That's the other alternative. The second alternative is that a lot of gullible people out there bought the orange man bad thing so long and so slavishly from their mainstream media, such as RTE and the Irish Times here in Ireland, that they were blinded to the actual benefits of Trump's presidency. You know, the fact that he didn't commit any US troops, one US troop to any new conflict during the four years he was in, the fact that he actually very seriously deflated US military engagement in such places as the Middle East, which were vandalised by Obama. Obama won a Nobel Peace Prize, by the way, and there's a plaque to him somewhere in Ireland. So none of that for Trump, but hey. Um, moral. Moral. Don't buy into utopias, whether it's a left-wing utopia or a right-wing utopia, whether it's Europe, North America, wherever it may be. Biden and, well, I mean, Biden isn't competent now, sure. You know, RTE clipped all the bits of uh, footage of him actually having cognitive breakdowns and that kind of thing, forgetting his name, name of his wife. But we let that go. Um, Biden 
has and his followers have now been peddling this line that he's just going to make everything perfect rainbows and unicorns it is so you know i've had a video orange man gone and the orange man is gone republican congress gone republican congress is gone so it's plain sailing now or or a lot of people who failed to let trump back in for a second time may have to answer to a growing clamour of people across the United States in the next maybe two or three weeks when they see what's really coming and when they get angrier and angrier and angrier because Black Lives Matter was just a stage thing I wouldn't worry about Black Lives Matter but what could be coming could be a lot more serious Rainbows and Unicorns